Well, hello, New Life people. Uh, here we are, sheltering in place still. I'm in my home office as usual, about to jump on a Zoom call with my extended family. A couple of things. First of all, you know, this forced absence has has brought home to me again how much I cherish our relationships, how much I value your partnership in the gospel, uh, how much I need you in my uh, faith walk with Jesus. Uh, so thank you. And I want you to know that uh, uh, I miss you, I love you, and Linda and I are praying for you every day, okay? And look, we look forward to the day when, we, when we're back together again. And you know, even though this situation is not ideal, uh, and certainly not the norm, and, and it is only temporary, God has seen fit to use it in ways that we hadn't anticipated. One of the things that's happening is that a lot of you are sharing the worship service with your unbelieving friends, and it's really opened a door uh, to share the gospel uh, that may not have been there uh, before. Uh, also, we're, we're getting a lot of uh, views uh, of this worship service really all over the world. Uh, so we're, we're thankful for that. And, uh, you know, we'll see how, what God does and how, how he's going to use that. Um, so thank you. Um, and, uh, lastly, just wanted to tell you about this Sunday, we're going to be in Genesis 50, the last chapter of Genesis, the climax of the story of Joseph. It's a great chapter. Uh, and in it are some wonderful truths about ourselves and about God that I think will be, uh, helpful to to all of us as we follow Jesus Christ, not only through the good times, but through the tough times like we're in right now. So uh, tune in this Sunday. Look forward to uh, working through Genesis 50 with you. And uh, you be careful out there and stay healthy. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you soon. Thanks.